Hi, this is Brandon Spillay from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called the leg raise versus band. This is an abdominal hip flexion exercise that's a little bit of a progression based on our standard leg raise. So this is a way to mix things up in your training and to be able to provide some more challenging options for your athletes or for your clients. So I, in my uh, like Roman's chair, captain's chair, now, depending on whatever you want to call it, I've got a band hooked up here from the bottom. Now, if you happen to have one of these at your facility and there's not a way to put a band across like I have, you can obviously bring over a dumbbell or a kettlebell um, and hook some kind of resistance band up. Uh, I like this because it's easy to take on and off. We don't have to leave it on there. And it's just super convenient because we don't have to drag any weights over either. So we're going to pretty much perform our standard leg raise. Um, but we're just going to be able to hook our feet into the band. So when it comes to setting up, we want to make sure we've got our hands locked in. Our back is good and flat. So that's the first pitfall that we usually see is that athletes and clients will start to like extend or doing way too much extension to be able to get set. We want to make sure our back's flat. Our abdominals are actually engaged before we even start the exercise. So this what's really nice is I got a couple different bands. So if I want a really hard tension, I can go with two. Or if I want just like a moderate to simple, I can go with one. Usually for most athletes on this, one band is plenty. So I'm going to put both feet up underneath the band. I'm going to get set, keep my back flat, toes pulled towards my face. And I'm going to use my abdominals, my hip flexor to pull it up as high as I can. And then back down. So as you can see, that's pretty challenging, um, and it doesn't need to come up incredibly high. We don't need to get up to here to where our back leaves the pad. Again, like I said, we want to make sure that we're flat from basically tailbone to about our end of our thoracic spine or our, our mid upper back here, which is where our, our pad kind of ends. So it's also okay if your knees bend just a little bit to be able to let the exercise do its thing. Because if, if your legs are super straight, it may roll up your leg. Um, it's just a good way to make sure the band's hooked and not going to come off. When we program these, if we have the band um, actually written in the training program, we just have them do max reps. And if they can get 20 reps, then we just ask them to make the resistance harder. Um, three to four sets is all you need. Most athletes, at least here at our facility, uh, struggle to get 20 reps with this. This is usually something that usually falls in like the 8 to 15 rep range for our athletes. And it's nice because it trains the abdominals and the hip flexors simultaneously. And for athletes that are looking to be faster and improve their running, uh, this is a great option that we have available to them. So super easy to set up, super easy to execute. Just some simple coaching cues to help you get the most out of it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.